Hey guys, it's time for September favourites. I've even got a dark lip on to commemorate the beginning of autumn. Yes, it's autumn. The leaves are changing colours and it's pretty nice. I do like the autumn trends and fashions of autumn time. I do have to admit I like that, but I don't like the cold and the wet. I don't think I've ever liked the cold and the wet, to be honest. But what do I do? I'm British, I just get on with it or complain about it. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to share with you my favourites. I've got a few, not as much as I usually have, but it's been a while since I filmed as well. So getting back into filming is a bit weird and I haven't, I've just mainly been filming favourites over the last few months since I've started my full-time job, but it's all good as long as I get my favourites up, I'm happy. So my first favourite is this brush. I ended up getting the core collection from Real Techniques from Boots, I think it was at the beginning or the end of August because they had the offer on where it was $11.99 or $10.99 for the kit which is like sort of half price and I was like I have to do it, you get in four brushes and everyone goes on and on about this particular brush and it's the buffing brush and to be honest they rave about it for a good reason because it's just amazing to put on foundation with. I generally put on foundation with my fingers first and rub it around and then whatever's left on my hand I'll go in and just buff the rest in and it gives like the most amazing coverage. Obviously I use fairly full coverage foundations but this just makes things easier and helps buff in the foundation really nicely. So I absolutely love this and I do recommend the core collection. I even like the um, foundation brush of that. I use it mainly for concealer under my eyes but that's quite a good one as well but definitely have loved using this literally every single day over the past month and when I have to wash it and I can't use it and I have to find something else to replace it, it is very difficult to find another one. I was actually considering buying two core collection kits when it was half price but I was like no, you don't need that many, one is enough. We'll see anyway, maybe one day. So the next favourite, um, I only opened I think a a week or so ago. It's the Maybelline Baby Lips Doctor Rescue and this is in the shade Coral Craze, not that when I put it on it there's no colour, it's mainly just it's clear when it comes off. But I do like it just for the fact that it's mentholy. I'm not a big fan of the UK baby lips at all, I just I think they're just plasticky and they're not really moisturising but because this has got that mentholy sort of hydrating feeling I do like this and I've been using it over the last sort of few days constantly and that's why I like it but the mentholness definitely just makes it even better and I've ordered replacements of my most favorite most favorite lip balm and that's the first aid beauty ultra repair lip therapy and it's on its way and I just really can't wait to start using that again because I think that this is actually the best recommendation from Lily Pebbles and I highly recommend this one as well and if you were to try this one and this one I think you'd probably end up loving this one much more because it it's also spearmint flavoured or tasting and smelling and I love that as well but anyway lip balms a must for all winter time my next favourite is a new sort of release from Batiste and it's this one it's from the Batiste Styling range, it's the Heat Shine Spray. So Shield My Locks Heat and Shine Spray. I really like the concept of this. At the beginning of the month when I was straightening my hair quite a lot, I was using this so much easier when, whenever my hair's dry. So it's not, it'll probably be like the day after I've washed my hair and let it air dry, I'll use this. And when you use it, it does smell quite strong. So probably best to spray it like quite far away but it leaves oh gosh I think I sprayed a bit too much on my hand but when I whenever I'm stroking my hand through my hair it leaves this sort of golden sort of pigment on my hands and that's probably where the shine sort of comes from but um, yeah really great it's better than using um, a wet spray especially because my hair goes frizzy anyway or it'll just go curly if it's quite wet whatever I'm spraying on. This is fairly wet as well but it does make things easier I think. Or maybe it's just a hype and I'm, I've fallen for the hype. But I really enjoy using this styling spray. Another random favourite of mine which has made life so much easier on the eyebrow front 
is this. It's a mini version of the number no. 7 Lovely Lashes for Glossy Natural Volume. And you're thinking, glossy natural volume on my eyebrows? What? Um, I just find it so easy to use, even though it is slightly glossy, but on my eyebrows it doesn't feel like that. But this is like my eyebrow sort of mascara because I just brush it through lightly, get a spoolie and then comb it through and my eyebrows look dark, which they are, and super natural. So for me, this is the best eyebrow product because I find pencils, whenever, whenever I use a pencil, it's just too harsh and I end up looking a bit crazy whereas this is like my go-to mascara because you don't get any black tinted eyebrow gels mainly they're dark brown and dark brown would not go with my eyebrows because I've got black hair and I need black a black tint for my eyebrows and my eyebrows are really fair and sparse so you can't see them whereas this makes them thicker and I will be sad when it's over but I will probably end up repurchasing this just for my eyebrows because why not? Another of my favourites, definitely for autumn time, is this mini eyeshadow. It's an eyeshadow single from Art Deco. I got this from Debenhams a few years ago and it's perfect for the creases of my eyes, especially when I go for an autumnal sort of inspired look, but it's a perfect autumn eyeshadow. And a few other eyeshadows that I've been loving come in a few sort of mini palettes. The first one is this Essence Nude Number no. 1 palette. Now, these are super cheap, they're about £3.50 or something like that. And I love this sort of burgundy, maroony sort of colour. And that again goes really nicely on the outer corner with the Art Deco one. And I love this um, sort of satiny sheeny sort of one for all over the lid and I've sort of got that on my eyelids today. Oh, I love this sort of rose hued um, sort of eyeshadow tones um, they're sort of my favourite so absolutely recommend this one and if you are willing to spend a tiny bit more then the L'Oreal Rose Eau de Rose or something that palette is amazing it comes with a mirror and it comes with a brush and a sponge and again you get these sort of deep burgundy maroony sort of colours and I love this peachy goldy one for all over the lid or even the inner corners of the lid. Just all of the colours are amazing and for a drugstore I think uh, the value is fairly decent. Most of the time they're on offer anyway so perfect for autumn I think. Autumn, summer, spring, this is an all year round palette definitely. So that was my favourites, my September favourites, really short and sweet. But I hope you enjoyed them and I'd love to know what you're loving during this autumn time. Ooh, another one. I literally got this a couple of days ago, but I have to show it. It is a flannel shirt and I sort of... I've been wanting one for a while actually, but I never got around to getting one. And then I was out shopping with my cousin and we were in Hollister and I would never... That was I think that was the first time I've ever actually went into Hollister. It was in Brent Cross, we were just wandering around and I saw the shirts and she was like, oh, I'm looking for like a blue, greeny um, flannel shirt because she's already got a few. And then I was like, you know what, I really like that colour. I was like, I told my cousin, I was like, we could be shirt twins, let's do it. So we ended up trying them on and it looked good on her and I think it looks good on me. I really like it, I like the style. So we bought the same shirt and it was £30. Yes, I spent... £30 on a shirt, it's kind of crazy but I love it and it's so soft and warm it's not like the other sort of material ones that you get from Primark and things it's actually really nice, it's cotton and polyester but yeah, it was a splurge item and I rarely make clothing splurge item purchases but it's done and I'm happy and it's pretty warm but I still have to wear layers underneath anyway so that is my favourite and I will see you in my next video and I will definitely be uploading my drama favourites either before this or after this. Bye!